welcome to another installment of Education Made Easy. I don't like bananas. The question begins or asks the absolute most. Where do you get your protein? I mean, you're vegan, so... Aren't you protein deficient or do you just eat like a whole bunch of tofu or something? All I can think is, you know, where do these big, meaty, beefy animals, where do they get their protein from? So protein actually comes in all different shapes and sizes and colors. Everything you eat in it has protein. Every fruit, every grain, every vegetable, anything you eat has protein. The body can only absorb 15 to 20 grams of protein at a time. So in one sitting, you really don't have to try and get that much protein. So I'm gonna give you a list of things that are high in protein, kale, fruits, dark leafy vegetables, tangerines, quinoa, tempeh if you're not gluten intolerant, soy milk, 6 grams protein per cup, hemp seeds, 10 grams of protein per every 3 tablespoons, chia seeds, Six grams of protein. Can't tell you what the serving size is because it has definitely been ripped off, but whatever the serving size is, six grams of protein per serving, and I'm pretty sure it's like a few tablespoons. Shroom! These baby Bella shrooms have three grams of protein per every three ounces. That's a that's a gram per ounce. That's unbeatable. The point I'm trying to make here is that you can get your protein from everywhere and really the only way you'd end up being protein deficient is if you're on a deserted island somewhere and you're not eating anything, you're just eating sand and maybe then you'll be protein deficient. But really, have you really ever heard of anybody being protein deficient? I've never even heard of that before. I've really never even heard of that before. Protein is in everything, it is abundant in plant life, and as a vegan, getting your protein is really nothing you have to worry about. There is a huge wide range of things that you can get your protein from, as I just stated here. So, go out and get your vegetables and your tofu, and have yourself a good jolly protein full time. But remember not to get your protein from one source all the time because if you're getting the same kind of protein over and over and over again, your body starts to react badly to it. So, yeah, switch it up. Don't just eat a whole bunch of tofu all the time because that builds up inside of you and it's not. Your body is just like, it's time for something new. I'm over this. So, tune in next week for another episode of Education Made Easy. And if you have any suggestions, you can definitely put them in the comments box. And don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Twitter, my website, of course. Um, I have a Facebook fan page now, so you can go like that. The links will be in the down bar, and I also have an occasional cover channel, you know, where I occasionally sing. Oh. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button 